Hi, I will now show you how to create a new set of codes. Now, this is different from what we have done up to now. As you may remember in previous videos, I show you how to create codes uh, from reading the documents. We selected a segment and then we uh, attach a new code, right, through open coding. Well, in this case, uh, we will create a new set of codes without having to be reading the documents at that time. So these codes are born independently from uh, the documents themselves. So I will open the code manager, codes. Here you will see the list of all of the codes that have been already created. Uh, and now we are going to create a new set of codes. And you see, I am not doing this as I read the documents. Free codes, that means that the code that I will be created will be free, will not be connected to a quotation. Uh, well, most probably, the code will eventually be connected to a quotation. But it could very well be that it will never be connected. So now I will write down, uh, let's say, uh, sources of funding. Let's suppose that I'm studying uh, funding processes and, and health uh, provision of health services, uh, sources of funding, uh, challenges, funding. Uh, let me see here, uh, political implications. Well, not that, but really, I think strategies. Yeah, strategies is better. Uh, strategies for funding. And those codes will be created by clicking on Create. And now I will go to one of them. Go to select it. Go to the space below. And write a definition on the code. You select the next one. Oops. There. And I will write a definition of the code. Now, you notice uh, that as I am writing definitions, uh, the code symbol has a little yellow symbol attached to it. Well, uh, anywhere, uh, anytime you see that yellow symbol in relation to any object of the project, a document, a quotation, a code, a network, etc., that means that that individual element has been commented already. Okay, so these are all codes that have their definitions, while these three over here, they do not. Okay, so after you have done this, you will uh, close this manager uh, and you will proceed to work, right? So let's say that I will open this document over here and I will uh, start reading. And if I find a segment uh, that has to do uh, with any of the codes that I created now, all I do is I come to my left side navigator and I select the code. Now, it could very well be that what I selected in the text does not have to do with strategies for funding, but still, just to show this to you, I am going to use that code. Now, an important consideration to keep in mind is that all codes, regardless of how they have been created, either if they have emerged from reading the documents or if you have created them, uh, more, more in a top-down manner, as we did now, uh, regardless of how they were created, they will always be part of a single list of codes, and you can access those codes in the navigator in this way. So this is all I wanted to tell you about uh, creating a set of codes, and uh, I will be showing you other things in the, in the, in the next videos. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.